How's it go guys? Hope you're all okay. I just want to start the video off by apologising for not uploading for a while. I've been quite busy. Um, today we did a chest workout and switched it up quite differently to what we would do normally. We did a Mike Rashid copied his um, chest workout, basically doing an overtraining kind of um, style. The workout was great. We've got a really, really good pump. I've not had a workout like that in a long while, so we'll definitely be continuing with that. Um, it suited our style of training a lot more. Um, it's a lot humbling when you get down to the light weights and you can only push out three or four, maybe five reps. But that's when you know that you're working the muscles properly, you're tearing the fibres, and that's when you know you're doing a really, you're having a really good workout. None of this ten reps for four sets and then giving up. It's all about overtraining, getting to, getting the last rep in, and then going to failure on, on almost everything. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, thanks for watching. As always, a like rating and a subscription is always appreciated. If you've not already subscribed, make sure you do so. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Cheers. It's never too late. And Mike received, I mean, how many reps you gonna do? I mean, said, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how many I'm gonna do. Ain't no telling. Stupid punk. <laughs> yeah, stupid punk. I just got tight just from looking. I ain't doing shit. Just standing here looking like my shit got tight. You sitting there typing some fucked up comment on YouTube and getting tight. Just looking at this shit. What's going on, y'all? You've been asking for a chest workout, and I hook y'all up. I give y'all what y'all want. Now, I can come in and do just a basic chest workout. What will I get out of that? I will just maintain what I already have. Is that what I'm trying to do? No. I want to build muscle, I want to shape my muscle, and I want to increase my strength. So what do I do? I overtrain. I go above and beyond what I know I can normally do. People attach negative connotations to overtraining. We're done with that. We're taking overtraining back and we're gonna make it positive. So what I want y'all to do, spread the word, overtraining is good. That's the only way to grow, overtrain. You gotta train hard, you gotta go hard. It's overtraining to them, Mike C. Overtraining to the ordinary average motherfucker is overtraining. Average, buy your clothes off the rack at Baby Gap. They be trying to do this shit at home in Bon Bon Land. They have to call in sick for work. You're a mere mortal, it is overtraining. So what you're experiencing right now is me, Big Rob, C.T. Fletcher, with an all-out chest assault. I call this overtraining. Now, simple principles with how I train, my density style training. Pyramid sets and drop sets are a must. Uh, always work up to a heavy set, okay? Always work up to a three to a one rep max, okay? In the process of building up to that one to three rep max, get proper reps each set. Over 10, as many as you can for that weight as you're moving up in weight, and then you come down on that pyramid set, doing as many reps as you can. The last weight that you hit, burn out, go all the way out. So you're getting the best of both worlds. You're getting your heavy weight, you're getting your high rep range. We're only doing the basics, nothing fancy. So we're starting out with the flat bench. Building up to a relatively heavy weight. Basics, basics. You must have strong basics. Everybody needs strong basics. The rep range will be as followed. We're doing a classic pyramid set on the flat, okay? First set, uh, 135 at 15. Second set, 225 at 10. Third, 315 at 10. Fourth, 405 for three. Fifth, 315 for eight. We're basically coming down the pyramid. We're doing as many reps as we can. So eight for 315, and then 225, I believe around 17 reps. Um, we were going very fast. So basically we weren't taking breaks. So when I hit my set, Rob hits his set, and then I go right back to my set. It's, it's kind of like time under tension. You're not really getting a chance to rest that much. We prefer to train like this. It's harder, it's more difficult. However, it makes you stronger. My body responds to that type of training very well. You gotta try different things to see what your body responds to. Pause reps. Not for the weak of heart. Not for the weak of mind. On the first set of 315, I did pause reps. So if you notice, it's a pause, press. Pause, press. So I'm not bouncing it, there's no momentum. 
It's all power, okay? Pause it on your chest, shoot it straight up. No short strokes. We call this short strokes. None of that, that don't count. That don't count at all. Touch your chest, explode all the way up. Lock them out. When you're training chest, bench press, incline press, you do those properly, that's really all you need, okay? Still, 30 years later, ain't nothing sweeter than the sound of a couple 45 slapping together. So we move to the incline press. First set, 315. Max reps, go to failure. Rack it, drop off 90 pounds, drop off a plate off each side, 225. To failure, drop off the, another 45, uh, 90 pounds, 135. It's so funny because 135 is so light, but it feels so heavy when you come down from 315 and 225. So we try to rep out as many as we can. How many you gonna do, Rob? Until you can't do no goddamn more? <laughs> At this point, the number of the rep reps is pointless. We don't care. We're going to complete failure, going to muscle failure, that's it. So I could say four reps or five reps, but if I am not failed at five reps and I rack it, I, my mission was not accomplished. How many reps you gonna do? I'm gonna say, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how many I'm gonna do. Ain't no telling. Woo! She act like that shit hurt, you see? <laughs> so when we're doing drop sets like this, we don't even count the reps. We're going to failure. to failure. So next, we take the big plates off of the incline press and we throw on four quarters on each side, 425. Max reps, strip. Max reps, strip. Max reps and go to failure. And it's so humbling when you get down to the last plate because it's so light. But your shoulders, your chest, everything is so burnt out. You know, that's when that stupid pump comes in. Stupid pump. Like, my shoulders felt like I couldn't even move. Stupid pump. Big Rob and Mike Machine have what, what I like to call ass chesses. They chest look like fucking asses with a fucking split down and they stick out some fucking butts. You won't see that in the pages of Muscle and Fitness. That's a CT original, an ass chested motherfucker. On a regular set, I don't like to count the reps until it start burning. So when we're doing drop sets, it's burning the whole time. So you know you're getting good money. That's good work right there. You know it's working. When you're hitting your reps and it's not burning yet, you're just warming, in my opinion, you're just warming up. Muhammad Ali said, someone asked him, how many sit-ups do you do a day? He said, you know what? I don't know. I don't start counting until it starts hurting, starts burning. So that's the mentality when we're uh, doing our drop sets. So next, we're going to dips. We're doing weighted dips. We have these really huge fat chains. Throw the chains around our neck, go to failure. And the stupid pump continues. What's, what's fast as a stupid pump, Rob? Fucking short bus, short bus riding pump. Certain lifts, when we're going really heavy on squats or deadlifts or something like that, when you're being careful, watching your form, Rob and I will match each other with reps. Okay, but when we're doing this type of training, you know, dips and stuff like that, and you're burning out, the reps don't matter. I tell Rob all the time, I tell my people all the time, my reps is not gonna make you buff. So don't worry about what I do, you go to failure. The change is a good variable. I mean, sometimes we throw a weighted belt with a kettlebell or some plates. Sometimes you throw a chain. I kind of like to throw the chains up here 
when I'm hitting dips because I can feel all of the weight. I feel like when the weight is beneath my, my waist, I'm losing some of the weight. It's a lot easier. It's a lot more difficult for me to have the chains up top. So I always pick the more difficult route because that's what's gonna make me stronger. It's gonna make me better. So I go with the chains, upper body, bam, go to failure. Now we're going to cable flies, okay? At this point, <laughs> we're all pretty much burnt out. Like, it's, this is all extra credit at this point. Honestly, after the incline bench press, I felt like that was enough. But what we're doing, <laughs> we're overtraining. Why are we overtraining? That's the only way to grow. That's the only way to see changes in your body, okay? So, we're hitting cable flies. We're coming from the bottom, scooping it all the way up, and squeezing it at the top hitting the upper, the upper pectorals, okay? It's good for the, the top of the chest and the middle, okay? So 15 to 20 reps of that, I believe like 20 reps, okay? And then from there, go right superset it with a push-up. We're trying to pump as much blood and glycogen and oxygen into the muscles as possible. So we go straight from that to push-ups with resistance. So you push on the back and really push. Don't just put your hands there, push. And you try to bang out as many push-ups as you can. Your muscles expand when you're pumping blood and oxygen into the cells. So that's why when you're trying to grow, you gotta hit a lot of reps, you gotta do a lot of work. You know, three sets of 10 is just not gonna cut it. You know, you gotta go all out. And I can't even tell you a rep range that will cut it. What will cut it is you going to muscle failure every time. Burn that, you know, you gotta burn out. You gotta go all the way out. So that's why we'll go from the flies straight to the push-ups. Another thing that helps your body grow is muscle confusion. So what we do for the next set, we change the positions of the cables and we, we start coming down. Get it? The fuck is all that shit running across his chest, goddammit? Fuck is all them trenches and valleys and shit? It's still hitting the entire pack. Same thing, you're squeezing it at the bottom. Don't, don't just go fast just to get your reps in, no. I want you to come all the way down and squeeze it. Give yourself like a one or two second hold, boom. <laughs> squeeze it, like that, okay? Knock out as many reps of that as possible, and then you drop and hit a, a different variation of push-ups, okay? In this instance, it's gonna be touch hands. So you put your hands fairly wide, push up, and slowly touch the hand. Boom, slowly touch the hand, that's one. You touch each hand, that's one rep. Okay, and then if you still got more in you, when you can't do that, that's too difficult, then just hit regular push-ups. Pumping that blood into that, and that oxygen into those, those muscles. That's how it grow. You expand those cells, that's how it grow. It takes a lot of reps for this, okay? Mike Rashid always trying to throw some shit in the game, ain't it, Big Rob? He's always trying to put some shit in the game. Always trying to outdo himself. Let me think, how can I make this shit harder on myself? Well, all you motherfuckers looking for the easy way out. Mike Rossito over here trying to make it hard. And that is why he looks like he do and you look like you do. All right, so that's it. Finish your workout. You better have a stupid pump at the end of your workout. But if you like me, you're gonna have a stupid pump during the first exercise of your workout and you're gonna keep working out. That's overtraining. That's what you want. Overtraining is a good thing. Spread the word, all right? What the fuck is impossible? Not a goddamn thing. Once you believe that shit, that's half the fucking battle right there. Nothing is impossible.